Hello, my stars and galaxies. Welcome back to my channel, The Universe Today we're doing a reading read for Aries. Aries, it's all about you. It's all about the Aries today. Now, before I get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from the upload, all right? And please note that the Terrence Instagram page is in the description box below, along with my Cash App and PayPal, so you know exactly where to go for whenever you're ready for your personal reading, all right? Now, without further ado, let's get started. Hope you guys are having a good morning, noon, and night. I hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. I'm just going to do a quick Aries reading and draw 10 cards. Okay, so Aries, our first card says <clears throat> the moon, okay, the moon, right? So I'm seeing here somebody has betrayed you, okay? Somebody has repeated something you have said to other people and it's starting conflict, right? It's starting conflict, you know, it's something that shouldn't be said, it's something that, well, first of all, Aries, you can say whatever you want to, right? You can say whatever you want, but it's the fact that the matter is that this person went behind your back and repeated it, okay? They repeated it to other people, and now it's starting conflict because, you know, they're saying yeah, that's offensive or, you know, people that, the person doesn't like what you said or, you know, whatever the case is. Like, they, like, they weren't even supposed to hear it in the first place because that person betrayed you and, like, or disrespected you or was two-faced, right? And just told people what you said. Like, for example, say your name is... Hmm, Nick, okay? Your name is Nick, right? Um, you know, like, oh, did you know that Nick said, um, you know, that you were fat or you were ugly or, you know, that they, they think that you've been sleeping with, um, other people rather than your husband? Like, you know, like, look, even if you did say something like that, that's not their business to repeat. You know, that's just, you know, your personal thoughts. That's nothing wrong with that, right? But of course, they want to go ahead and be a B-I-T-C-H and repeat what you said to other people. So just so it can, like, just so to start off some conflict or start off some drama, that's being an instigator, okay? Because their life is so boring, right? And they want drama so bad that they have to create it, right? So they even, even if it, maybe they took what you said out of context, right? They took what you said out of context and they're trying to make it seem like you're the jackass, right? They're trying to make it seem like it's worse than what you actually said in reality, okay? So whether or not you said something like that or it was, like, taken out of context, they want to create some kind of drama. The Eight of Swords in the... Re Wait, no, not the Eight of Swords, sorry. The Eight of Wands in the reverse, okay? Right. Now, as pissed as you may be, Aries, okay? As pissed as you may be, right? Slow down. Right? Slow down. Take a breath. <sighs> right? Take a breath. Then try to, um, what do you call it? Fix the situation. Kind of like adjust it in a way where it won't get heated, okay? Maybe either find a person who repeated it, okay? Or if that, if you don't want to do that, if you feel like you'll, you'll strangle their throat, then just um, find a person who, like, got upset over what you said so you can kind of smooth it over, okay? The Six of Wands, all right? Now, the good news is that regardless of what you said or how you said it, it, it does become a success, all right? Mm, excuse me. To try to smooth things over, right? Ooh, excuse me. Every burp comes with a yawn. <laughs> but, yeah. In the Six of Wands, it, does, it is successful to try to smooth things over. It wasn't really easy, okay? But it's better than nothing, you know? You, you just probably explain to them. You like, say, hey, I apologize, you know? That wasn't really for you to hear. It's not like... You know, I told them to tell you that, right? Or they just took my words out of context, da, 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 You know, like, you try to smooth it over, and it did work for the most part, okay? You know, but, you know, you, you still don't like how this person betrayed you and totally repeated what you said to other people. Like, that could have gone down a lot worse, okay? These people could have weapons on them, right? 
So, because, you know, a lot of people are angry these days, okay? So that's why it's especially important to be careful, okay? Nine of Cups, right? Right? So this person is your supposed friend, right? You're, you know, your friend, okay? This person obviously isn't your friend, though, okay? Even if they claim to be your friend, they're not your friend. Oh, excuse me, y'all. It's late. I shouldn't even be up. Like, it's later. It's late. Like, I I shouldn't even be awake right now. <laughs> That's how late it is. But, um, what do you call it? Oh, don't worry. I'll go to bed. But, yeah, this person wants to, um, continue being your friend, right? Even though they just been fake. Like, this person is a fake friend, okay? This person is a fake friend. They are so two-faced. You know, they're friends when they want to be friends with you, you know. But the minute they see an opportunity, they go ahead and turn their back on you or hurt you or do other foolishness to you, okay? You know, this is like an occasional friend. You don't even know why you put up with them. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. You know? They like to play games, okay? They like to play games with your emotion. They, they, they like to play games with your how you feel. Excuse me. They like to play games with how you feel. They don't even care how it affects you. Right? They don't care if you're hurt by it. They don't care if, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm trying to think. Like, they don't care if what their actions hurt you in any way or try, are trying to kind of get you hurt, right? Like, that could like I said, that situation where that person was pissed over what you said or what you might not have said, right? That could have went either way because that person could have had, like, a gun on them and they could have shot you, you know what I'm saying? And that blood would be on their hands because they're the ones that were running up and down and being an instigator and all that other stuff. So, that could have really went any other way, right? So, thank God it didn't go that way, you know, and this person is just kind of just like this fake evil person that likes likes to create drama and put people in it you know just so they can sit back and watch the drama eat popcorn okay the world okay you have the only way you're gonna feel content aries is if you cut off this person okay you need to cut off this person so they don't like cause any more chaos in your life i don't know how you even met this kind of person i don't even know how you put up with this kind of person Right? But the bottom line is that you need to leave. Oh, excuse me. No, actually, that one actually came out of nowhere. But yeah, the bottom line is that you need to cut this person off and get them out of your life altogether so you can have closure, so you can feel content, so you can feel happy, okay? Because you don't need this kind of person in your life to cause um, chaos and destruction, okay? The magician in the reverse, okay? This person is very destructive, okay? They have a very destructive tendencies, very destructive behavior, okay? They just want to, um, like I said, cause conflict, right? And, you know, just watch from the sidelines, watch the conflicts that they cause, right? They're not, they're, they're just a very cowardly person because they don't have the balls to, you know, be like, hey, I'm sorry, or hey, yeah, that was me, me, I'm sorry. I was just looking for some action or something like that. They were not honest enough to say something like that. You know, they just wanted to go ahead, cause conflict, and then keep it moving, okay? And there's, unfortunately, Aries, the sad truth is that there's, a, there's just going to be people like that, okay? That's the unfortunate truth. The nine of wands in the reverse, okay? So, you're definitely defensive, right? Like, now that, your pers now that this person is out of your life, you're very defensive towards them. Oh, excuse me. Now, you're very defensive towards them. You know, you do not, like, you definitely have your walls up. Like, you don't even let them talk to you. You know, you don't even look that look them, look them in the eye. You know, you don't even acknowledge their existence anymore. Like, it's definitely over for the two of you. You guys do not even talk, right? You know? And that's very fair because this person just totally betrayed you. Why would you want to stay friends with somebody who betrayed you? Right? So, I'm not even mad at you, Aries. You know, you have every right to do... What you're doing right here, you know, go ahead, be mad, you know, whatever you want to do, okay? Totally understandable. The Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? And you're, but and sometimes you're really sad about that, th that this happened because you really, like, these times like this, there's really times where you really need someone 
to have your back or someone to just talk to, you know, just socialize with. Someone you could just, like, just say, hey, how you doing? How's it going? You know, you just wish you, like, you just wanted that. You didn't want anything more than that, okay? But this person went ahead and just took your trust, crumpled it up, and then repeated, you said to, repeated what you said to somebody else, okay? That's totally dangerous. It could have went either way. You know, thank God you didn't, like, get physically harmed, okay? And our last card says the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, right? Ooh, excuse me. And especially now, like how like COVID has shut down everything, and there's still a lot of things that's going on that's gotten people that's got people broke or homeless or struggling, right? You know, I'm seeing here that you have found yourself in that kind of predicament, and you're recovering from financial losses. Okay, you know, so especially like I said, times like this, times like this going on, you do not need any people who are going to betray you and throw your trust in the garbage. Okay, if anything. They need, they need to throw your trash in the garbage because if stuff like loyalty, right, and, and compassion, that should never go in the trash, all right? So just keep in mind, Aries, who you let into your life, all right? So Aries, I hope this has resonated with you. I hope I helped in any way. I hope I brought knowledge or enlightenment to the situation. But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully the next Aries reading will. In the meantime, though, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, alright? This has been the Universe, Tarot. Namaste.